Hi there, Mike Masuda here, uh, Evergreen Valley College, uh, physics and astronomy professor. Um, I'm showing my setup for uh, Zoom conferencing just to document uh, what I use at home during this uh, lockdown phase of the, uh, the coronavirus stuff that's going on right now. So what I have here is my laptop and it's uh, running Zoom conference right now. And so I have a meeting open for the moment. Uh, there's nobody in here but me, but I just wanted to demonstrate that you know I can use Zoom uh, to to you know uh, have Zoom conferences with my students. Um, what I can do with this is I can select um, using the share screen button down here, the share screen button. Uh, this opens up options of the entire screen being shared on my laptop. So if I do this the entire screen becomes green edged. And so every, whatever I display on the screen here shows up on their side, uh, what they're viewing, okay? Um, I can also switch it over to iPhone, iPad. And if I do that, then this shows up. Now what this does is basically talks over to my iPad, which is over here, all right? Now this setup that I have, I bought this lamp at Target. Basically there's the base there. Let me turn this off for the moment. Uh, this base uh, and the lamp here, I wrapped it with uh, Glad Wrap, okay? Um, press and seal, I think it's called, uh, just to diffuse the light because the light's really bright in my eyes and I need the lighting so that people can see my face a lot clearer. It's dark in here, so. Uh, but this uh, lamp serves as a base for uh, an iPad mount. Uh, this mount I bought uh, at Guitar Center. It's for gigs primarily with Hootenanny, my band, but uh, what I'm doing right now, because the band's not really playing any gigs right now during the lockdown, I'm using it as an iPad holder uh, for the purpose of, you know, my class. Um, this, let's see, I use this along with an app called, um, I think it's called Notify, let me make sure of that. Notability, sorry, Notability has this icon right here. I'm using Notability uh, as a means to draw on the iPad using a, an Apple Pencil, all right? So I can draw little cartoons and, and notes and things like that, equations for the students to look at. So um, it works pretty well. Um, and what I can do is when I swipe down on this iPad Pro, the, the this little thing shows up in the top right, you pull down screen mirroring. So if I do that and I hit zoom, Fizzy, this one here, that one there, and then hit the background. So this now shows up on my screen and it's got a green thing around it like that. So now this is now visible from uh, for the students. The, the green region will be seen by my students on their, on their screens. Uh, so I can erase and write or whatever. So if I do anything on this side over here, let's say uh, hi in a circle, it shows up over here as well. All right, and that's something they'll see in real time as I'm talking. Um, but the reason why I have this on this base here instead of on the tabletop is so I can do this. So I swipe and I select camera, all right? So now this thing, this iPad, which is elevated off the tabletop, becomes a document camera. And so I can slip things right here, just for the heck of it. I have this book here, Zelda. <laughs> and put this underneath here like that. That shows up, and it shows up over here. And so I can show documents that way, all right? Have demonstrations underneath here, and it shows up um, in real time as I'm working with the, the equipment down here. It shows up on the screen of the students as well in real time. And so it's kind of handy to do it that way. And I can switch it back over if need be to the notability and write notes you know, on the screen here again. Uh, and if I want to switch it back to the screen, uh, the laptop screen, just go back up here, go to new share, like that, and then select screen, and it disappears, and basically the entire screen is, is now uh, seen again. Okay, and so I can do PowerPoint from here, right? So they can sh see PowerPoint presentations from here. I'm still located up here in the top corner, uh, of their view, so I'm not, you know, outside of their view completely. I'm still there, all right? And they can hear me through audio as well, and they can comment as need be. If I go up here, select chat, 
uh, a chat function shows up so they can type their messages here. In fact, when they log into Zoom, I use this to take attendance. They basically type in hi along with their name and you know that I use the, um, the text that is generated automatically by Zoom afterwards for the, the chat room. Um, I can use that for attendance. All right, count who's here and who's not here as long as they write their name correctly. All right, uh, so that's very useful there. Plus they can ask questions in chat um, and straightforward. I can just answer them using my audio uh, pretty quickly. And then um, when I'm done with all this stuff, um, assuming that I did this, I go up here and hit record. What this will do is it records the entire session. All right, and so I hit record and it'll start recording for let's say one hour or whatever for my lecture. And then I stop recording uh, and I end the meeting down here. And then lo and behold, um, about a couple of hours later, there is an email sent to me with the URL of the, uh, the video that's been uploaded to the cloud. And so I can use that uh, for the students who did not show up to class. So they can basically access that through Canvas because I send uh, a Canvas announcement saying, here is the lecture that we did to, you know, today, all right, earlier today. So that's how I uh, run my, um, you know, my lecture. And my online labs are, are very similar. Uh, I show them demonstrations using the document camera. And we use some apps that I found online through Celso and uh, Paul uh, and a bunch of others. We sort of knocked our heads together and figured out that there are some things, resources online that we can use. So I've been using uh, those uh, like online circuit building and things like that for the um, Kirchhoff's Laws, for example, uh, magnet demonstrations and such, videos. It can all be done, all right, here. So this is my setup. Uh, the only new thing that I had to buy since I already had the laptop was the lamp and, of course, the iPad. Uh, this one uses a pencil. This was an additional, you know, uh, amount of money, but it was well worth the effort of, of you know, the cost of this thing so that I can now extend... Uh, and uh, write things in, in real time onto the, onto the iPad, and they can see it on the screen there. So um, this is what I'm using for my setup. All right, thanks. Bye.